Over the next 40 years, the world will need to produce 50% more food to feed a rapidly increasing population. Much of this increase in the population will be in urbanised areas in Asia, where consumers will be become increasingly discerning. This will lead to increasing opportunities in the food innovation sector in Australia as we seek to access these markets, as well as a requirement for a global increase in demand for people who have expertise in food and packaging innovation. From the outset, you will discuss tailored subject options, internship opportunities and some elective research ideas in a one-to-one -one meeting with the course coordinator. The Masters of Food and Packaging Innovation also offers industry mentors and the opportunity to collaborate with students across at least four faculties within the university. Our research also tells us that students learn a huge amount from the student cohort, many of whom are already working in the food sector. Yes, there are a number of different scholarship opportunities, including a $25,000 internship, which is highly competitive. Yes, there will definitely be the opportunity to have hands-on experience. For example, Mondelez International, who own one of their brands is Cadbury's, have offered access to the state-of-the-art chocolate confectionery centre of excellence in Ringwood, where they can take a product from concept to production. We have also support from other major food and packaging companies who have contributed to the development of the curriculum as well as being willing to provide access to their facilities. This course is distinctively different than other offerings in the food area in that it is designed to meet industry requirements. Industry have come to us and said well, what they need are innovators, entrepreneurs and people who can really develop new products. So we have targeted this market specifically at those, those people. We've chosen subjects from across a broad range of activities at the university, as well as developed new projects specifically to meet these requirements.